Hey, welcome to an episode of Teaching Tangents, a special episode of Teaching Tangents about the evolution of Teaching Tangents, and really for anybody for, who's, for whom it's the first time on Teaching Tangents. I'm Willem van der Horst. I'm a brand strategist, and I'm also a teacher at ISCOM, which is a communication and advertising school based in Paris. I've had the chance of living in a bunch of different places around the world. I started my career as a graphic designer. I worked as a coach for a personal development company called Landmark Worldwide. And for the past 14, soon 15 years, I've been a brand strategist working with branding and advertising uh, agencies around the world. I worked in London, I worked in Singapore, I worked in Chicago, and now I'm based in Paris. I've had the chance of working with some of the largest brands in the world, may it be like Toyota or Lexus or a lot of stuff that you found in the supermarket like Cadbury's chocolate or um, Raid uh, insecticides <laughs> or uh, Shore deodorants, uh, uh, Google and Facebook, you name it. I've done a lot of different projects on businesses and how they present their brands. And my brand of working is specifically geared towards including elements of play to favor creativity. And uh, for the past year and a bit now, year and a bit, James, mm. we've been doing this show teaching tangents. Uh, how about you introduce yourself now? So my name is James D'Souza. I've been a teacher for going on for 18 years and moving into my 18th year. I teach business and psychology and I love what I do. I've been ahead of sixth form as well, taking care of the pupils in the UK who are about to go to university. And before I was a teacher, I worked in data planning for a media planning agency where what we would do is we'd advise clients on where they should advertise to get their customers. But I changed careers to become a teacher because I felt all I was doing in that job was getting people to spend money they didn't have, to buy stuff they didn't want. And I brought <laughs> that idea of data interpretation, business understanding, thinking things through, problem solving, all of that stuff to my teaching. So in my career as a teacher, I've written five or six proposals for senior management are very good at writing ideas for senior management to move the school forward. And that was how Teaching Tangents started. I asked Willem for a bunch of ideas about a project I was doing for some pupils, all about gaming and tabletop gaming, which of course Willem knows a ton about. And we enjoyed the conversation so much, we recorded it and gave it to my students. Which was also thought, because I believe, sorry for interrupting, but yeah, it was also in the midst of a lot of different people trying a lot of different things on how to cope and better communicate during the spring 2020 lockdown. Yes. Yeah. So as a teacher, we were looking for how could we, how could I as a teacher share information with students in a way that's accessible? So recording this conversation that I had with Willem and giving it to the students was one way. And it went really well for the students, but we really enjoyed ourselves. So then we started recording live conversations and calling it Teaching Tangents, where we chose a question, or I would pick a question actually, from one of my students about life, the universe and everything. Willem would answer it having no idea what the question was. And we did this for two full seasons. We've got like, what, 30 episodes or something? Yeah, something like that. On your YouTube channel. And we covered everything from what is life about to how do you choose a career through to I don't know how if someone likes me or what I should do if, to get people to like me the full range of things that young people are dealing with nowadays especially in a lockdown coming out of a lockdown coming in, out of a global pandemic and there's a lot of different ideas and ways we could approach answering those questions and Willem is one of the most interesting wildly creative people I know and him answering the question was super interesting for my pupils some of my people said they really enjoyed listening to what villain would come up with and what we'd come up with in our conversations and I had similar reactions from my students given it was my first year teaching from September I also asked questions from my students who are uh well this is a higher education post um uh, GCSE, well, not GCSE, A levels for you, a baccalaureate for us in France. Mm. Uh, but I have a lot of international students because I teach in English in Paris. So they were also pretty interested, and we thought, well, we'd share it out there. So we know we have a few friends and family who listens and or watch. So the episodes are available online. You can search them for 
uh, on podcasts, Spotify, whatever, however you listen to it. And but at the beginning of this summer, 2021, we felt like mm. we were maybe running a little bit out of steam or revolving around the same kinds of questions. So we thought, OK, mm. let's take a bit of time to think about how we're structuring the show. And uh, and we hadn't even recorded an intro episode that is because we tend to have longer conversations to just explain what the show is to somebody who's a newcomer in just a few minutes to see if, well, you want, might be interested in watching or listening to us uh, for a full hour, basically. Um, so now, what, how did, what did we get to, James? What we got to is a much tighter structure for what we're doing. So we really thought about how school only takes you so far when it comes to tackling life's big questions. You can join us every episode on tangents as I pose a question to Willem and we delve into whatever the question is and explore it from multiple angles. If you ever ask your, yourself a question like, is it pointless to aim lower than 100% or do I need purpose in life? and you enjoy random inspiration, this podcast is for you. And how we're gonna structure it is we'll, we'll pick a theme between us. We'll pick a bunch of different sources, maybe a book, a podcast, a TED talk, or even more. And knowing Willem, he was, I wanted to limit it to three. Willem's gonna come up with a load. We're gonna limit we'll it li to, th to three to the begin with. The idea being that we're always sharing references uh, of book because we're encouraging our each other and yeah. anybody who's listening to us to find out more about the topic and to find out more about what we're reading about what we're watching whatever it is uh, that feeds into how to answer those big questions in life that yeah. usually don't have one firm answer there's a lot of different perspectives to them uh, so we'll pick three things that are available online so it might be a podcast episode a video and an article for example uh, and we will detail each show's uh, seasonal theme. And within the seasonal theme, then we will encourage you guys who are listening mm. and watching us to send us questions that fit within the theme. I'm sorry, I might I stole your, your lines there. I apologize. That's fine, because you said it. The, but it might be better to send me the questions, not Willem. So he doesn't yeah, yeah, yeah. Send them to, what? we have an email. <laughs> What's the email? Hello at jamesdesouza.com. That's my email. We might that. open up a teaching tangents email now that I'm thinking about it, but one one thing at a time. <laughs> We're already <laughs> putting a structure into the show after 30 episodes. Yeah, it's the third season where it all it all comes together, and I will I will come up with questions. I will take your questions. Villain won't know what they are. It will be based on the theme, and then we'll answer them. And the idea also of having the resources is that you you might read something and then you might go off and explore something else on your own tangent and yeah. learn more about it. We want it to be as useful and as interesting for you and to really stimulate your ability to explore yeah. because there's so much out there. So where do they send the questions again? They can send them to hello at jamesdesouza.com. Cool. Hello at jamesdesouza.com. And we're going to have another show episode coming out, well, pretty much next week or very soon, at least, to talk about what the next season's uh, seasonal theme is. And that's it for now. Yeah, it was it was really hard not to mention it. <laughs> Thank you.